Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo cast. Me, Rangaroo, and today we are doing a 1v1 on a walk through the Valley of Death. And this is the first time I'm going to be doing a replay for uh, the full release of the game. It's got this nice, sleek UI. So, on the bottom side, in the blue, playing as the United States, we got Penta Sports Cruelty. And up top, who's also in the blue, but they're not on the same team, playing as the United States as well, we got Mano. So this will probably be a little bit of a hard match to follow as a bug where you could pick two of the same colour in a 1v1 match and as you can see it produces some uh, interesting results. But I'll do my best to keep you on track on who's who so let's uh, speed up the early game as usual. Man they're going for two barracks off the start. And he is going to be trying to move it on to the left hand of the bank. But Cruelty also doing the same thing, capping the left hand of the bank. But he is closer. He's definitely going to get you. And popping a refinery slap back down in the middle. And this is a very good uh, oil refinery spot here. Because the US players are already need more oil. And you just got six. Next six. Pretty much all adjacent to each other oil spots. So a lot of money to be made in. Mano taking advance of drill and getting a refinery down and capping his right hand side bank. And he's gathering up his infantry. He's going to be trying to attack that refinery but the MGNS is already down. So he moves around his squad of marines to most likely do marine things. But Penta Sports Cruelty already got himself a field hospital. Um, he's about to load off, but yeah, just want to unload all his marines. He chases Mano's last three guys. And he's going to be getting the saw upgrade. Giving the marines more HP and a better firepower. Chasing off Mano's last two guys. Mano built him himself a logistical center. Both sides going for a little bit more of an unorthodox place though. None of them rushing for the light vehicle bay and getting some strikers out. Now they're mainly focusing on the infantry play so far. Pen Sports Cruelty is going to unload up his dust off to maximum capacity. And he's going to be moving upon the right hand side bank. And get himself another refinery in the middle while Mano does the same thing. He's going to load, well, most likely. And he's gonna soak the base and he said he could easily do it. His marines are upgraded. And with the help of the dust off constantly healing, he takes it with not a single casualty. Just bring us back to normal speed. Mano getting even more refineries, it seems, in the middle. And an aluminium refinery as well. And Pentasports, Pentasports Cruelty. Get himself some MG nests to protect his middle flank. And cap in the left hand side of an FOB and an aluminium deposit. Yeah, both sides really sticking it with the infantry. No tanks or anything. Mano massing some sniper chaps. Probably snipe out the infantry in the bank. Now 
And if he muncros this correctly, he can pretty much kill everyone in here in two volleys. And he's bringing up a fourth sniper. A little bit overkill, I'd say. If you really want someone dead, get more snipers. Man, a bit low on aluminium right now. And Cruelty already got himself a helipad and two Guardian helicopters ready to war out. And also a Phalanx, and it's always a good idea as a US player to get a Phalanx in your main base when you can. Because this little thing can detect stealth units. So if any pesky stealth units try and unload some infantry and start clapping your buildings, it's just spot them before stealth it do it. And if it's in detected. range, you know, pretty much shred them up into little 20mm smithereens. Because that is a big ass gun. And Cordy aims out four attack helicopters and one little bird Stealth call around scouting detected. purposes. Some marines. And he already t he already took Mano's home bank. Got one, two, three snipers in here and two marines. It's going to be taking pot shots at all the M993s that drive by, but nothing really too substantial. Enemy unit detected. Got these helicopters flying over, intercepting these snipers. Man, I really like those snipers. And thanks to the little bird, he's going to easily pick them off from a distance. Mano building himself a helipad of his own. Stealth enemy unit detected. And these guys are still in here. I mean, it'd be, as you can see, it'd be pretty hard to snipe these guys out because there are three bloody snipers in here. Three bloody snipers. The cruelty putting on the pressure on Mano's main base. The ATGM's going flying, fly trying to take out the fuel generators. Mano trying to get some stinger guys, obviously, and some attack helicopters, but it's pretty low in money at the moment. And with the attack helicopters killing its harvesters, it ain't going to be doing them any favours. And he's just pounding right at the barracks, there goes the little bird. One lone stinger missile. And there goes the barracks, this isn't looking good for Mano. How is he going to repel this attack? Take some long range shots at the attack helicopters. Seems like he has the end loss upgrade because he can he can engage at a further range. And there goes the Sally Pad, so it's down to these two chaps to win the match or to win this engagement. And damn. <laughs> Man is in to make him fall back. There's ATGMs on to exact. Oh, they're also working as AAU you missiles. Yeah, I was wondering that, because I always thought the Hellfire was just, you know, an anti-tank missile, but nah. These guys using it to shoot down bloody helicopters. Now he's just taking pop shots at his own bank, trying to get the snipers and marines out of here. Mano building a lot of field generators, another helipad, another barracks. He does have a light vehicle bay out, yo, and he's getting those blazers. And Pendersport's Cruelty 
up and in with two light vehicle bays, one of them pumping out blazers and the other one pumping out striker MGSs. And they want to strike up ICV. And he's also getting himself more attack helicopters, so Forty's really that's quite a big force Stealth right now. But Mano got himself in the F-35s flying in the air. Takes some pot shots at the MG nest. And the attack helicopter is still just pounding at his bank. Mano get himself a second barracks. Forty moving up once again with the same size force, four attack helicopters accompanied by, oh, six attack helicopters accompanied by one little bird. This time he's going straight for the refineries, or for the MG net refineries. He does have the end loss upgrade now because he is outranging the MG nest by long range. This is why the end loss upgrade is so bloody good. It makes your attack helicopters, your javelins, and if you use them, your strike rate EGMs, just so much more deadlier. And <laughs> Mano doing the same thing. Taking pot shots at Crawty's MG nest. Now they're bringing up his blazers and his one lone striker guy. Just, just run. Forty bringing up some phalanxes for defensive purposes, probably trying to shoot down the, uh, the F 35s that keep flying by. And the blaze is getting in close so they can try and shoot down the missiles. But they can't shoot down all of them. But they are mitigating damage, which is good. And Mano is going for Cruelty's refinery at the same time. This is very much a mirror matchup. So these guys are pretty much doing the identical things. You know, one guy six to infantry, the other guy six to infantry. One guy gets helipad, the other guy gets a helipad. A very interesting match, I have to say. A little bit peculiar. The blazers are moving up, and they do manage to shoot down three goddamn helicopters, but. Oh god, here comes the strikers, here they come. In all forms, from Mongo gun systems, to ICVs, to blazers. We have them all here, ladies and gentlemen. Every single kind of striker. Except for striker ATGMs, they relate to the party. Forties is moving on up. Man, I'm taking some pot shots with his guardians. If he doesn't have the CIW... Does he have, no, he does not have the CIWS upgrade, so he can't shoot down the missiles. Yeah, he can shoot down planes, that's for sure. And Forty's ground force is just gonna eat up this middle flank. Mariano didn't really have that many defences, just a few MG nests. So he easily just broke through. Mano now got himself a lot of attack helicopters. And they're just picking off these strikers run by run at long range. That's gonna force cruelty to retreat. And Mano got himself a striker force of his own. Not as big, but still they are strikers. And these ones seem to be a little bit malfunctioned. He's getting a Tusk Run upgrade. And Mano just moving up.
And uh, Cruelty's just got, he, he outnumbers him in the ground forces, as you can see. Does have CIWS up right now, so he's shooting down the missiles, he's chasing down the strikers. It's blue on blue fire here, quite literally. And he's just trying to chase down and attack helicopters, which are the main threat of Mano's army. And he's just trying to chase his helicopters down, but... The thing about attack helicopters that makes them so great is that you can outrun ground units. So you can always pick your engagements. And if you don't like an engagement, you can just bug off. And Cruelty's just going to be ignoring Mano's annoying attack helis and just going to go straight down the road. It's going to go straight for the main base, but Mano does surrender. And that would be a GG. Is the replay going to crash? Please tell me it's not going to crash. It seems like it's going to crash. Nope. Oh, oh, thank God. I thought it was a bug with this new patch that made it crash. But I was mistaken. And Cruelty taking the rain by quite a lot. Bloody hell. Pretty much double the KD. You know, both of them are pretty similar on resources. You know. Not too much of a disparity. But Cruelty had to get some rare earth. And they're very... Interesting maps, a bit of an unorthodox early game from both sides, you know, sticking with infantry, lots and lots and lots of snipers, and then going straight for the attack helicopters. But it's really just down to Cruelty's big striker force, which really run him the match. But yeah, very good play from both sides, and that was a fun match to play. And uh, round, that's all I have time for. This has been another Rangaroo cast, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.